Hey everybody, Joe here. I'm back again. It's the first Wednesday of a brand new month. You already know what that means. It's time for some pickups. What did I get in the month of November? Watch and find out. Really simply put, I got a little bit of everything this month. I also did a little straightening up. I added some Atari games over here and moved some NES games to this side. Not sure if I'm going to run with it because this looks really dark on camera behind me here. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the pickups. Got quite a bit to show. Starting off with a PlayStation TV model. This is basically like a consoleized Vita. You lose the touchscreen capabilities, but most of the games still play. Um, seems like it's going to be pretty interesting to have, so that's pretty cool. Next up, I've got a pair of Famicom games to show you. I'm going to show you one that's Dynamite Bowl. This is one I got in trade from my buddy Chris, the Atari Creep. I traded him a couple of Atari cartridges and threw in a... SD card with some Atari ROMs for his uh, At Games Flashback Portable. And he sent me this off, and I love bowling games, so quite happy to get that. And the other Famicom game is a copy of Stargate. You know this better as Defender 2 on the NES. But due to copyright reasons or something like that, at some point in time, they changed the name of the game, which actually appeared in the arcades as Stargate, to Defender 2. No idea why. Not sure. Even like the Atari 2600 version, you'll see both titles. Always found that kind of weird, but neat to see it called Stargate on the Famicom. And uh, let's follow up the Famicom with some NES games. Got five of them to show you here. Two of them aren't too hot, but the other three, they're not bad. Um, we got the Black Bass. It's filler in a lot, you know. There's always that sort of thing. And then Track and Field 2. I've heard mixed things. Could be decent. Then we've got Paperboy. That's a bit of a classic. Then we've got Ninja Gaiden 2. Probably the best one in this bunch. And... Y'all know that's a classic. I actually have never owned Paperboy or this. And that's probably kind of a sin for uh, someone who loves the NES as much as I do. But now that's been rectified. And the last one in this lot of NES games is Super Pitfall. I know not too hot. Angry Video Game Nerds talked about this one. But hey, could be kind of fun to at least like laugh at or something. We're going to jump from the NES into some modern stuff right off the bat. As you know, I've got a Switch. I've only had one physical game for it since I got it, and that was the Breath of the Wild Collector's Edition. But now I also have Super Mario Odyssey. This has been freaking fun. I've already beaten it twice since I've gotten it. So, that's saying a lot. And... Just the way the presentation is, everything about it, it's just so much fun. I've been just there with my Switch. I still have not used the dock for my Switch. I've been only using it in handheld since I've taken it out of the box. And I've been just playing that thing with just big old Kool-Aid smile. I've gotten all four of the Breath of the Wild Amiibos, the new set. We've got Rivali, Herbosa. Daruk, and Mifa. I know with my, all my lighting, it's hard to see, but the sculpts on these suckers are incredible. I absolutely love what these people did with all of the Breath of the Wild Amiibos. Not just these, but the uh, first five. They were incredible too, but these, I think, may even be a little bit better. Really cool to see these. And yes, I'm keeping them in the box or packaging, whatever you want to call it. At least for the time being, if I had a better means of displaying them open, I would do that. But as of right now, 
this is the way I'm hanging on to them. And next up, I'm going to show you a couple of PS2 games that I picked up at the thrift shop. Actually, the rest of this video is stuff that I picked up at my normal Wednesday thrift shop trip every Wednesday. I've been hitting this one thrift shop, and it's been kind of a crapshoot what I get, but usually it's cheap. Nothing's been more than $4. Most of these were around $0.99. Cents. So let me show you what I got. And First off, I got a pair of PS2 games. We've got Freedom Fighters. No idea about it. I just know that it's been marked down a whole bunch of times with all the uh, GameStop stickers I peeled off of it. And a copy of Bully. I've heard good things about this. Next up, I'm going to go into the Xbox 360 stuff because I think the regular Xbox stuff that I'll also be showing you is probably a little bit better. So I want to build up to that. And there's always a lot of two things I've noticed in the thrift shops every thrift shop I've ever been in personally. You've got a ton of the sports games that people have donated and rhythm games that people don't want anymore. And I still kind of like the rhythm games. So I picked up copies of Guitar Hero 3. I used to have it, got rid of it. Guitar Hero 2, used to have it, got rid of it. Now I have them both. And also picked up a copy of Band Hero. Like I said, these were all cheap, so no complaints there. And Cool to have them in my hands now. And the other two I have are Army of Two, again, dirt cheap, and might be kind of cool. And the last one is Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I think that's all this is, is Marvel Ultimate Alliance. That's all it says on the disc, but the packaging has for a Marvel Ultimate Alliance and Forza Two, Forza Two on the back. Was this some kind of like combo thing that they did? I have no idea, never saw that before. But there you go. And then we're going to close off the games that I'm picking up or have picked up with these big old stack of, well, not big old stack, but it's six original Xbox games. And they're all pretty darn good, I think, mostly. Uh, Rainbow Six Three, Splinter Cell. And then uh, you can tell I'm a Metal Jesus fan because I finally broke down and bought an SSX game. This is SSX3. Don't know if that's any of the good ones. I know he usually talks about Tricky, but who knows. Then we've got a copy of Godfather the game. I bought this on PS2 ages ago, ages ago, ages ago. I think I traded it off. If not, it's in the bottom of my overflowing trade bait box that's in the other room. May still have it. And then the last two that I'm showing you on the original Xbox are Halo Combat Evolved, the original, and the original Fable. So there are six more original Xbox games to my collection. All right, and I think that wraps things up. That's what I have to show you this month. I think I did pretty darn good, especially since most of the stuff I bought was dirt cheap, with exception, of course, of the brand new Amiibos and Mario Odyssey. I think everything else was very affordable. I mean, you saw all those games I got out of the thrift shop, those two PS2 games, the five Xbox 360 and the six original Xbox titles. I'm very happy with the haul that I got this month. So, hope you enjoy my pickups. Hope you enjoy everything I do is to keep tuned. I know I didn't do any game reviews or anything like that last month. Things were just a little too hectic, but I will be rectifying that this month. I will have at least two things out on top of the pickups and whatever else I do. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care.